good Thursday morning, everybody. Today is June 29th, and today is the feast day of Saints Peter and Paul. So uh, a little shout out to my hometown, where the parish used to be, or is, depends how they rearrange it, uh, the parish of St. Peter and Paul. I think they're actually having a barbecue there tonight, so hopefully everybody enjoys. Now the gospel then for this is Matthew 16, verses 13 through 19. So in this scene, it's a, it's a famous one where Jesus says, okay, who do people say I am? And his disciples get on the long list. Then he goes, okay, now who do you say that I am? And Peter responds, well, you're the Messiah. And then Jesus says, hey, the Father revealed that to you. And upon, I'm going to call you Peter from now on, Rocky. And upon this rock, build my church. Okay, so we have this, it's really this kind of call. We interpret it as really as the, the authority given to Peter. Peter throughout the scriptures, becomes really the spokesperson for all the disciples, the, the first pope. But but if you could call up Peter and say, hey, you're the first pope, you're the first one, well, you would never understand it. So it's a sign. But what, what I like, and this applies to Paul as well, is what goes on here and, and where is the church born of? And the church is born of people like Peter and like Paul responding to that, that inner call of God. Jesus says, hey, the Father revealed this to you. It's God calling us to be church, not church as institution, church as community, community of believers. And so we are church when we are responding to that, that call to, to be community, the call to, 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 I guess, love is the best way to put it, you know. And, you know, thinking of my life and where I'm at, you know, uh, I'm a priest. Please don't tell the bishop this. I'm a priest not for the institution of the church or the church institution per se. I, I like being a priest for the community, the people. I like serving the people. I like being part of the community. I'm not, you, you know, if I could go to Rome, that's great, but I have no great desire to go to Rome and the Vatican and all that. In the institutional church, the church is alive here in Reno. It's it's alive here in the diocese of Reno, you know, Elko, wherever I'm at. That's the part that excites me. It's when I see that that community of believers responding to God's love is what makes the church alive for me and makes me enthused for that. And, and is that, that's, that's what keeps me going. Uh, and so it, it's me responding to that, that love that I feel from the community. community. And so uh, that's where I'm at on this. That's what I'm, I'm remembering on the feast day of St. Peter and Paul. It's not about the church, the institution, because that's not what Jesus is talking about. He's talking about the community. He's talking about the people responding. And so, uh, you know, we ask ourselves, how, how are we being church today? How will we be church today? How will we be community for everyone, not just those in our little circle? The big picture. Okay. Well, that's my little pedestal message today. That's how I'm responding so speaking of institutional church and church, um, I'm going away tomorrow morning. I have an early flight. I'm going to Orlando to the USCCB's Convocation of Catholic Leaders in Orlando with a couple of the priests and bishop. So I'm celebrating <clears throat> July 4th in Orlando, Florida uh, with leaders from all over the United States. So I'm trying to be excited about this, but, you know, Orlando in July... Yeah, okay. So uh, keep us in prayer for that trip. And that means that I won't be broadcasting next week, uh, probably the week after that, starting June, July 10th. Okay? So you guys enjoy. Have a great time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.